There are three indicator lights on the QBot. When you turn on the QBot, all three illuminate briefly. In the event that there is an error, the center light will start blinking along with a beep tone. Here, the SD card is not installed properly. Once the card is installed, the light extinguishes. If during quilting the card becomes dislodged or is removed, the light will begin to blink again. The green light will illuminate any time a button is pressed. This is a visual indication that contact has been made. The last light is an amber color and it indicates when the memory card is being accessed. You will see this light flicker periodically during QBot operations. If this light remains on continuously, it could be an indication of a problem with the SD card. Turn the QBot off and on to clear the problem. If the problem persists, reformat your SD card. If your QBot does not seem to be scaling properly, designs are not quilting out at all, or you are getting single x-axis or y-axis lines instead of a quilting design, check the following things. Choose any pattern in QBot, select Start, and either 2-point or 4-point scaling. At the Place on Right upper menu, you will see X and Y coordinates. When you are at this screen, move the carriage from left to right. The X value should increase. Also, move the carriage from the front and push it toward the take-up pole on your quilting frame. You should see the Y value increase. If you do not, then check the connections at the QBot and at the drive assemblies. With everything properly connected, we now have communication between the drive assemblies and the QBot head. Proper drive wire tension is essential to ensure quality registration on a quilting design. All QBot installations use some form of wire holders and tensioner to keep the wires taut. To increase the tension in the drive wire, rotate the barrel of the tensioner. Similar to tuning a guitar or piano, this will change the pitch of the wire when plucked. When proper tension is achieved, the x-axis wire should sound like this. And similarly, the y-axis tension should sound like this. Depending on your setup, you may need to change the operating parameters in your QBot. To do this, navigate to Options by pressing the right arrow and press Go. You will see the Setup Credits Update menu. With the cursor highlighting Setup, press Go. You will then be able to navigate through the parameters by pressing the up and down arrows. There are many user-definable parameters that you can change. Only change a parameter if you are instructed to do so by the instructions for your particular machine and frame combination. Here we are changing the acceleration parameter. We use the right or left arrows to increase or decrease the value respectively. Once we have chosen the desired value, we press the Go button to save the setting. In this manner, you can tune the QBot to your particular quilting setup. You can then change other parameters by following the same process. You must press the Go button to save the settings. If you want to leave the parameter list, you can do so by pressing the stop or escape button. If you need to reset your QBot to the factory parameter settings, from the options menu, press go. Press go at the setup menu, then press the up arrow. You will see reset to defaults. Press the right arrow to set the value to yes, then press go.